Hello, folks. Welcome back. First of all, cheers. A little bubbly. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. I'll finish that off eventually. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank those few people that try to watch my obvious failed experiment. Sorry, guys, didn't work out as I thought it would, so I did try. I'll have to review it and figure out what really went wrong. Although I think I know it's just that computer's just ancient. I think it's... Oh, wait, I think it is like 10 years old. Might be time to get a new one. One day. But other than that, I'd like to thank a couple of people. Sonny Bimbo, thank you very much for your comments. Oh, Sonny Bimbo, you are that definitely that luchador on a forklift. And whoa, too! That's right. You know, you want to see that, too. Although, maybe not. Ooh, you, sir, have earned that six count.
and Slex. You've already earned everything. We'll we'll see you. Pray F. Pray for the seer. Next big event is going to be the Mo Memorial Day Madness. So stay tuned to see that. Um, also, I forgot to mention this on my last show, my AEW show, when I was doing, I when I finally tabulated all of my wins, all my cor well pr correct predictions versus just nonsense for Impact Rebellion. I just realized I'm just a wrestling mark. So let's get ready to smack down with a little bit of the bubble, 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 bubble. Ah, so the first thing, first match we have, Daniel Bryan cutting a promo. Of course, makes Baron Corbin come out. Let's fight here. Fight! Perfect. Again, one of the, I had to choose just 10 videos, or 10 YouTube shows. Um, I think Fight Perfect. I probably should have had an honorable mention section, but then this video, the, that video would have been way too long. So, but they would have had definitely an honorable mention. So, they're fight perfect. Because it's always a good reason to fight if someone calls, you, calls your mom a whore. That makes sense. So, but Daniel Bryan taking on Baron Corbin. Um, very classic match. Starts with a tie-up. Daniel Bryan then goes all technical wrestler. The Dragon School leg whip. Whoa. He goes, he starts to work over Baron Corbin's leg with a knee bar. Uh, Baron eventually gets the ropes, breaks that, uh, gets into a collar and elbow tie-up, brings Daniel Bryan to the ground, does a nasty-looking cross-face, and then you know, Bryan so technically reverses that into like a, a, a near a mundo lock where he crosses the one leg behind the knee, pulls back. And for some reason, they're getting really technical because this seemed like a jiu-jitsu match. I was kind of impressed by this. Uh, Marion Corbin, by no means a jujitsu person. Daniel Bryan would probably do good in it, though. Again, once you know all the technical wrestling moves and, and how to really apply uh, submissions, he'd probably be good. You never know, though. And uh, then during the match, Brie Bourne. Hey, Daniel Bryan. I watch your wife's Brie show, too. Yeah, so he gives a little shout out to Total Bellas. Whoa. Listen, there's no need for that. That shows a complete train wreck as is. In fact, I don't know why I'm mentioning it. That's weird. Uh, then Daniel Bryan again goes to the drop toe hold, to the turnbuckles, and then just begins to punch. Baron Corbin, I probably would too if someone mentioned my wife. But then Daniel uh, Bryan again gets put into compromising situations, counters that into a crucifix, a quick pin. Baron Corbin does learn how to kick out of roll ups and other quick sneaky pin attempts. Baron Corbin's learning something about his trade that's always good. And then Corbin's the knees knee strikes at Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. But then he's scattered, obviously, Baron's little ring slide thing, and he has him with a crossbody before he could come in. Daniel Bryan's smart. He watches tape about his opponents. Good stuff. Uh, Daniel Bryan also does that missile drop kick to the ankle lock, and then just stomps on the ankle, working over. Now he's working over Baron Corbin's legs. Corbin eventually hit the deep six, though, after a little back and forth. And then Corbin says, hey, Ladder's here. I'll use ladder. Yeah, but except for Baron Corbin, this is a regular match. The fact that Baron Corbin used that ladder got him DQ'd, baby. Daniel LeBron is going into the Money in the Bank match on the roof, and there's like no heels in this. This is going to be a weird match. It's all faces. No 
dastardly heels. I'll, I'll get into why later. Because uh, probably Jeff Hardy's going to get involved in this. He's doing something stupid on, on that roof. God. I just hope he doesn't fall off the roof. Watch watch some wrestler like jump off a roof. Be on the news. That's ridiculousness. Uh, but of course, Baron Corbin's upset. Because he's, he's like, what? I... You can't DQ me. Well, I'll use ladder more. Starts to beat up Daniel Bryan a little bit. Daniel Bryan then does get does get the better of Baron Corbin. So Shinsuke and Cesaro come into the ring to save Baron Corbin. Daniel Bryan gets launched into the, for lack of a better term, the domino of ladders. And I'll tell you what, this is this is in itself was a fun match. It was a very good match. I like this match. It's a very good match. This was a surf and turf match. Then we had some promos. There was um, Braun and Alexa were back. Little Big is back. Dude, there's a size difference there. Alexa's like has to weigh like whatever bronze legs weigh. Maybe one of bronze legs. Alexa Bliss is freaking tiny. I know she wears like the two inch wrestling shoes to give her a little more height. So I've seen her live and, and when they focus when you see it's like, wow, those are like two inches taller. I mean they're not the amazing six inch stiletto heels platform stripper shoes as Lena Vega wears. So they're six inch platforms. It's like a twelve inch heel. Ten to twelve inch heel. Whoa. You need to tranquil off that stuff. People are gonna start throwing dollar bills at her once the audience comes back. Uh so that was that then Drew McIntyre about how he's going to face <laughs> uh, oh no uh, Drew McIntyre actually visited a hundred year old vet. 100-year-old vets survive coronavirus. That's, that's always good to hear. Uh, and then Braun Strowman comes out. He mentions the Bray Wyatt family. And then is a, We're so glad that you are our friends. Because we are the friendship that will never, never end. Uh, Bray Wyatt tells a story for five life photos, baby. Uh, this is called the Black Sheep. And I think I've actually seen this jacket cover. Minus the author, I want. I, I know I've seen it either in Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. I swear I've seen that jacket cover before though. Uh, but then talking about the black sheep and he's a good shepherd, baby. So that was entertaining. Uh, see here, then WWE has been with Make a Wish for forty years. Impressive. Then our next match, we have Sheamus. <laughs> I thought they said Leo Rush for a moment. But no, it's actually he was taking on Leon Ruff. Really, WWE? You cheeky bastard. You tried. Uh, Leon Ruff, he did drop kick. Not once, but twice. Sheamus would kind of swat both away. Then it was just a matter of uh, three Irish curse backbreakers, uh, the, the, the ten shots, and bro kick, and, and then he went over and gave Michael Cole the stink eye. The fact that this, again, Jobber, he actually tried. He didn't land anything. It was countered. Ugh. The fact that this is hopefully leading up to a Jeff Hardy match, I'll give this a ham sandwich. Then let's see here. It was a Jeff Hardy. It was a comeback story. Yeah, Jeff Hardy uh, has a couple of comebacks. Again, most of them, I think one was because of the bubble. Bubble.
and actually way too much of the bubbly or something else. I mean, I think honestly pass out on a Carolina beach because you're not supposed to drink on the beach, but if you have a beverage in a container or a bag and you're not being stupid, cops don't care. It's when you get stupid is when the cops care. And then let's see here. Again, I just want to know what he's going to do from the roof. That's just disaster waiting to happen. Then Kayla was with Otis and Mandy Rose. Then Otis, Otis got kissed. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's Otis. Then there was Carmella taking on Mandy Rose. You know, this is a weird face versus face match. Because, again, for some reason, all the heels. What's up? What's up, that mosquito? All the heels, for the most part, are on Raw. And then all of the faces, so all the heels are here on Raw. All the faces are here on SmackDown. So either a heel person from Raw is going to win, or a face from SmackDown is going to win. It's a weird dynamic. It should be interesting. I have to get some 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 beverage for that too, because I have my breakfast pizza I'm gonna have. My cinnamon crust breakfast pizza. So good to eat meat again. But let's see here. Um, oh, where was I? Yeah, Carmelo versus Manny Rose. Uh Carm it was collar on all to to headlock, to head scissors, kind of classic stuff. Both of them did good rope running. And then Boo! Boo, Sony Deville! Boo! If I was there, I'd be, boo, Sonya Deville, boo, boo. I'd be the only voice heard in the uh, performance center, and the cops would probably take me away very quickly. But, I, but I, I, I'd say, handcuff me like this, so I can still, boo, Sonya Deville, boo, boo. Oh, come on, just, just like this, I'll go quietly, handcuff me like this, so I can, boo, Sonya Deville some more. Because then she started to cut up the promo. I'll tell you what, this match needed this because they were kind of quiet. And it's always weird to hear the, the women yelling and screaming and and panting and breathing heavy in a wrestling match. It sounds like something else is going on. I don't know what. But yeah. So it's good to hear some voice on Boo Sonya Deville! And boo your promo! Boo! Boo, boo, boo! And she used the, 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 the double bitch word. Only double bitches used to Sonya Deville. Boo! I can't boo you enough on the show. Boo! 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 I can't, uh, I can't stop. I'll boo, I'll boo you some more later. How about that? But then, uh, yeah, Carmella hit a super kick thing because she distracted Mandy Rose enough. Mandy Rose was actually doing good during, during Boo Sonya Deville's promo. So Carmella gets to go to Money in the Bank again, kind of face. And then Sonya Deville, Boo Sonya Deville, jumps Mandy Rose. Boo! Boo! Boo. Uh, then there was a little Mandy and Otis section in the back where Mandy was getting checked up on. Listen, I'll tell you what. I don't know about you. Carmella's outfits are getting skimpier. Mandy Rose's outfits were always skimpy. Between the two of them, one day, one day, there's going to be a wardrobe malfunction. Either the tops are, are, are dropping or coming up. No, yeah, the tops will be dropping and the bottoms are going down. So something's happening one day between those two. Or with those two. However you want to say it. Then we had the New Day taking on oh, Forgotten Sons. I forgot about them. Uh, the Miz and Morrison were on commentary, so they made it a little bit more lively. The New Day, Biggie is so strong. 
Uh, they're so coherent as a tag team, Kofi. Again, he does that one move that's pretty cool. At this point, I'm like, oh, Forgotten Sons are still jobbers just like they were in NXT, but no. Then Biggie, oh, well, we'll see what happens. The Biggie does a belly to belly suplex twice. The Leapfrog Senton using Big E as a propellant. Kofi goes flying for a Leapfrog Senton. And with a slingshot. Knee drop by the Forgotten Sons. Hey, the Forgotten Sons actually did, did, did get a good amount of offense and really high impact offense too. They, uh, the, the, the double team flapjack, uh, Cutler. That backbreaker, which looks really good. Uh, Kofi, again, he does that standing turtle stomp. And then that stretch knee drop. That actually looks like it hurts. It's stretching an opponent across your knees while you're laying down. So his like, whole rib cage and stomach is exposed. Then you get a knee drop. Ooch. Or elbow drop, I'm sorry. Um... Then there was the uh, double clothesline. Uh, Biggie missed his big splat, his um, dive outside the ring. They did that power bomb into the knees. Yeah, I do like the fact that the, that the Forgotten Sons are wrestling very well tandemly, so that's pretty good. Then they did that um, kind of stomp drop thing they do forgotten sons won and i was shocked because this actually was a surf and surf match and carmelo versus manny rose was a cheeseburger i'll edit that in somehow then we had tamina backstage and whoa either kale is really short or sasha banks was wearing heels but Sasha Banks looks pretty tall. I know Tamina looks bigger, but Sasha Banks is, is pretty tall looking too. Then Bailey comes from behind Tamina, they jump her. So ah, how do you like that? Then Lacey Evans makes a tag. That's obviously going to set up for the tag team match. For the go-home show. Whoa, wake up, eight o'clock. Zonk the heck out of me. And we have our main event of the evening. But then there was a little Sony and Dolph promo. I'll tell you what. For about five seconds, I thought Sonya was going to get on her knees and, and do something to Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that. Uh, so, it was Otis versus Dolph. The first thing Otis does, he pounces Dolph out of the ring. Yay, Otis! Uh, Dolph... He tried a single leg. <laughs> that was a dumb idea. Um, Dolph then eventually got stuck in that delayed vertical suplex, which is still amazing. Then Otis said, see ya! Slingshotted Dolph to the second turnbuckle. The back body drop by Otis is amazing. Otis, however, when he goes to the outside, gets beat up a little bit. Dolph does a standing drop kick, which is still pretty good. Then it's a chin lock time. And it was a zigzag and a sleeper. And the notice is like, oh, he couldn't get the caterpillar once. Uh, Dolph did kick out of the zigzag. I'm sorry. Dolph did hit the zigzag. Otis kicked out of that. Uh, a little bit more back and forth. But Otis hits the caterpillar the second time. Otis is off to money in the bank. And he seems so happy. This was a fun enough match. Served its purpose. It's a cheeseburger match. Overall, this was a really good smack. This was another solid cheeseburger smackdown. So with that, the smackdown deserves a little bit of the bubble. Oh yeah. I've got to say this about the Dolph the Dolphin Sonya promo. Boo Sonya Deville. Boo. Boo. Boo Sonya Deville. Boo. Cause she even had that look, it's like, yeah. I'll, I'll make you feel good. I just wanted to see that. Well, at least watch her top come off. 
so I can see her tattoo again. And that was it. That was SmackDown. And wow. Another week of people-less wrestling in the books. So next week's schedule is kind of weird. Uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, I am off. Monday is going to be another review like this since obviously I can't figure out stuff. So I'm not going to strain myself too much because that's another long day. These days are going to beat the heck out of me. Uh, Tuesday is a double show. Which reminds me, Sunday I have to do stuff. But Tuesday is a double show. First, you get Cinco Mania. Which is the great, which is one of the greatest Daytona Beach Bum Fight Festival of wrestling ever. And then you'll see me. I'll have a new scale. I'll put actually the whole week. I'll have a different scale of uh, rating matches. You'll see that that day. Uh, it's going to be. I don't. I think Impact. If it's just going to be a recap show, I'll watch like the one dark match, and then say I'm going to sleep. Wednesday's going to be another typical AEW review. Thursday, because I'm working on your day off. Because Friday, oh, Thursday on the way. Thursday, I don't have off. Thursday, I have to make predictions. We might have Dr. Tom show up. I don't know. I have to see how that and how that goes with my work schedule. <laughs> I might, I might make the video during my lunch break and upload it then. We'll see. But then Friday will be smacked on the Sago Home Show. Saturday, I'm off. Sunday, there's going to be a live, definitely live stream of Money in the Bank. Only because that's too long. I don't feel like staying up too late for that. So again, that's it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I do apologize. My grandiose experiment did not work. But that's okay. That's why you have to try stuff new every so often. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And be safe. And always, always, boo Sonya Deville, but always have a little bit of the bubbly, 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 oh, the bubbly. Ah, have a good, have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.